it came probably the most important section of this complex for me. Like he said, they named it Ozarium. Because of the Ozaris, they, it was so impressive when it was discovered. They said it has to be a big reason why such impressive structure here. We don't know its real names. We don't know its real build buildups. Conventional Egyptology is assigning it to uh, pre-dynastic times or early dynastic times because no carvings, no proof who really built it. Personally, I think it's much older than a couple of hundred years than uh, uh, before the first uh, dynasty rulers. Much older. And it comes in the same row as the Abu Simbel structure. Perfectly done. And we really don't know the builders. And if you go even more back, you remember my chronology. Sons of gods, before them, them I, gods, before them gods. Again, from the construction point of view, this is granite. The source was uh, Aswan. Aswan from here is uh, 240 kilometers, right? I don't know, that's from the other symbol. From here, Aswan is uh, what? Huh? More than 500. Mm. 500 kilometers. Now, just imagine, if they are really moving the, those huge blocks with the ropes and slaves, or even with the skilled laborers, once you move it through the desert, it, you know, it got damaged. The corners should be damaged. However, the original fitting was so perfect, no trace of any, any damage. Secondly, when it comes to the mass, you see how massive they are? Let's calculate real quick. 2 meters by 2, it's 4 meters, over there it's 5 meters, 4 times 5, it's 20 cubic meters, times 2.2, it's about 88 tons. So we have tens of tons uh, when it comes to mass. Number 3, you see how perfect sides, perfectly flat sides we have. So again, now, now we are not talking, you know, using some primitive tools, pieces of stones or hardened copper to get such a perfectly flat surfaces. All six of them are perfectly flat and they fit so good. So it was like somebody prepared this project, they cut it, they tested it in the place and they moved the whole thing here. So this was perfectly done. I think this is the work of a more advanced civilization than uh, what we had at the time, which was the human civilization. The next thing, you see the level where it is uh, built, much lower than those cultural layers that they came later. So what was happening after a very long time, the desert sand would cover those very ancient structures. Mm. The new civilization would come, they would slowly start building their temples, you know, mastabas, enclosures, and so on. So it's cultural layer on top of each other. The interesting thing is, the most superior is the oldest. Look above, you can see the stone, you can see the, you know, uh, mud bricks, inferior construction. So that's why this place is one of the most important, which tells us that we do not have this idea about the evolution, because you started from a very high level. Osirion is one of the most important places in Egypt for me because of that reason.